So I guess where the really where the journey starts is when we start talking about training. The, the training days of old have kind of come to an end. I mean, the, the days of us printing up big training manuals with hundreds of pages in them and people taking away a big book when they finish training um, isn't going to work anymore uh, because there's just too many other ways, too many other better ways to get information across to people. And just simple things like creating motion and animation on a screen uh, increases retention by many percent. And then once you make something interactive, it becomes even better in terms of retention. So we've gone from sort of a flat two-dimensional world to where we started in a world where we create animations that actually show how things interact on an engine. So as we remove the nacelle, and the instructor who's using this tool in the classroom would be describing what's happening here as we strip away components of the engine and then focus in on parts that are actually moving. Um, one of the things we found by using this technology is we have engineers who've been working on parts. We have uh, uh, people in manufacturing who've been making the parts who will say to us, this is the first time I've actually seen my part move. Because that component, when the engine's assembled and running, you can't see it. It's not visible. So it, it really opens the mind to really understanding the complete system as opposed to just your the particular widget that you might be designing or maintaining. And then we go into the next layer of interaction with the technology, and this becomes a very interactive thing. So now, I'm not just waiting and watching an animation to occur, I'm actually controlling my learning. I'm actually controlling the process of getting information across to myself. And then I can zero in on elements of the engine that I want to learn more about zoom in, see how things happen. And what this is, is we use cooling air from outside the engine to actually circulate around parts of the engine yeah. to keep it cold. So not only can I see the valve, then I can explain to the students or have the students just learn for themselves, oh, now I see. Now I see how the, the air is traveling through these active clearance control manifolds that circulate around the, the turbine exhaust case and create uh, a cooler case and tighter tolerances and make the engine run better or more, more efficient. So that's where we've been heading with the technology for probably the last two or three years. And I say that and it's, it's kind of interesting. You know, the customer training group's been doing this for about 85 years and really up until about maybe 10 years ago, five years ago, we kept training the same way. I mean, it was just instructor stands up in front, we point to something on the board, we talk, we point, we talk, we point, that's training. And then we test. Um, all this technology has all happened in the last five or six years. I mean, people have been talking about this, but it hasn't even become remotely affordable. And so what I'm about to show you is, when you want to go to the next step, now we want to immerse people in training. And we want them to experience the technology in a, in a full immersion. So okay. it's not just to make it cool, and this will be cool, you'll think it's cool, but, um, and we can't show you everything that we're planning on doing with the, with the equipment here, mm -hmm. but what's important about this is the setup to do all of this is a couple of thousand bucks. When they were talking about training simulations 20 years ago, you were talking about millions of dollars. What makes this really affordable for Pratt & Whitney is we're using the same engineering drawings that our engineers create to actually manufacture the engine. We just simplify those models, put it into essentially a video gaming yep. platform, yep. and then we, we interact. So what I'm going to show you is just a little tutorial on how this works. So this device will show up, you'll see this when you put the goggles on. And there's a trigger here that changes the mode. So we go spin to show hide. So here, to I've changed the mode of this pad. Now if I push on the, the right-hand side, I make the engine appear and disappear. Or I make the pylon appear or disappear. Okay, so that's that's what that mode does. 
And then the move mode is kind of the most useful. So what that does is when you push the pad down, it puts a, a blue dot on the ground. And actually, this would be kind of cool. I'll show you this. When you, when you uh, go to the toolbox, you, as soon as you release, you go to where the blue dot is. And when we do that, we actually go to this kind of cool dome of technology. Okay. There's really nothing happening in here. This is just kind of a fun place to see. Yeah. Because before, was that replicating like a, a shop floor almost? With the, the yes, engine? Yeah. exactly. Okay. Right. And so we've done other things where we've created, where you can use this tool to actually remove parts mm. from the engine and okay. set them on a shelf. And that's that's the direction that we're heading. And the removal process is, is entirely ac accurate as it would be in, in real no, no, and that's the challenge. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about that yeah, more yeah, when we sure. get into this, is how do we actually get to the next step where I can get credit for doing hands-on training without having a multi-million dollar engine mm -hmm. for somebody to go work on. Yeah. And that's that's really where we're, where we're trying to get to. So if I go back to move, let's take you back to the real world. So uh, I'm going to hit the reset button. You sure. can put that on. Yep. I'll hold the microphone. something really interesting now if you, if you look at the controller and you squeeze the trigger until we get to the hide move so squeeze it once go down the trigger is right here right. if you're in this Removed the engine, and all that's left is the 
engine buildup unit. All oh, yeah. the tubing, the piping. Yep. If you look straight up, you'll see up through the nacelle and the engine mounts. Yep. This is a, a view of the engine that is just not physically possible in the real world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it actually gives you an idea of all the connections, all the bits and pieces that attach to the outside of the engine. And from a, an anatomy and physiology class for the engine, this is a pretty valuable way to look at the systems. Because you'll see systems integration in a way that you don't really yeah, get to yeah. see any other way. Really cool. Yeah, this is great. So detailed. Yeah. So every every little knob could. Yeah, it's it's actually a lot better with the goggles on and just looking at the big screen. Yeah. I mean, we're enjoying it, but it's an even better experience for you. Yeah.